A very warm welcome to all our viewers. Welcome to this very important discussion. Every time a girl, a woman is molested or raped, questions are raised about why she was at that particular spot at that particular time. Why was she wearing a particular kind of dress? In fact, we all tend to forget that the girl is the victim. We don't and we should not victimize her any further. Why are questions always being raised about the girl? Why no questions about why did the boy or the man do or behave in the manner he did? Why did he do what he did? Why is it that every time, whichever case we talk about, why is it that the girl has to suffer? She has already suffered. Please do not forget about that. Nobody, no girl wants to be molested, to be groped. Even, you know, passing certain comments, it's extremely uncomfortable for the girl, for the lady. Nobody wants that. So why, when anybody raises their voice, they are victimized? People say, oh, that's just a publicity stunt. Why? We want to raise these questions today in this very important discussion. We also want to try and find out solutions. Why is it taking so much of time for us to change our mindset, to change our outlook, accept women as they are, respect them, give them their due in the society, why are we failing to do our duties as brothers, sisters, mother, father, friend? What about the legal system? Is the police failing us? We are going to raise all of these questions and try and find some answer. And to join me in this discussion today, I have Shyam Kanu Mohanto, I have Mitra Fukan, I have Bhavna Kashyap, there's Partho Deka, Sukanya Datta, and Dr. Akahi Tora joining me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show and welcome you viewers one more time. And at the very outset, I thank all of you for being there uh, to discuss this particular topic. But first, I would like to go across uh, to Bhavna and hear from her what are her thoughts? Uh, Bhavna, uh, first share your thoughts and then of course I would want to hear from you about uh, the, how did the police respond and all of that. And of course today we are here not to talk about the incident that took place uh, with you, but what we need to do next. But first your thoughts. I would like to start by stating the fact that, as you said very rightly, that when a woman is a victim of a sexual harassment or a molestation, then she is further victimized. Right. And she is the one who has to bear the brunt of the whole situation. Whereas the women should not be the one who needs to be, you know, just sitting behind her home and crying and not doing anything about it. Yeah. So it has a backward linkage, I believe, where a woman or a girl in mm -hmm. that sense is raised in the society with a conditioning where she is made to believe that facing you know cases like this witnessing uh, this molestation cases are a part and parcel of being a woman we yeah. are taught that you know that is what will be with you if you are a woman yeah of course in exceptional cases parents do raise their children to fight back and to raise their voices but in many cases we see that it's just perceived as a part and par uh, parcel of being a woman whereas the guy or the men can of course not all men are the same the yes. way i've been keeping saying that crime does not have a gender a criminal is not a woman or a man a criminal is a person with criminal intent so the same way uh, these people do it and get away with it and feel heroic about it. They gain confidence to, you know, execute it the next time, then again the next time. And that way, this actions when goes uncondemned, 
hmm. get somewhere omitted you know yeah but the tales of the girls the trauma of the girls stays for good in their life because of which they have to suffer in the course of their life with problems like trust issues and mental issues and emotional breakdowns and everything yeah because the girl is scarred for life even if it's yeah. a case of molestation the scar remains now uh, viewers bhavna is uh, a student and she is the person who had to go through this horrific uh, incident just a few days back here in uh, guwahati on the streets of guwahati and that too in the uh, afternoon hours in fact here uh, today we are of course not going to get into the details of how it happened and all of those stuff because uh, all of you are aware of what happened to her but here like i have said earlier we are going to talk about beyond what we need to do now i would like to uh, go across to shyam kanu mohanto he is an entrepreneur as well as an activist and in fact uh, mr mohanto has taken up uh, this particular case very strongly and uh, now i would like to hear from you uh, mr shyam kanu mohanto what are your thoughts what do you think i mean this is uh, bhavnas is not just the only uh, incident and so thank you for taking up this issue at at, at the onset i would like to uh, i'm proud of bhavna what she has done the last few days i am aware many such incidents are occurring in entire parts of assam in guwahati i i hear among our own family members this kind of issue has happened to one of my my close person somebody tried and i see lot of people loitering around and misbehaving with a woman and not for any reason assam is having the largest number of incidents against crime against women is largest amount of incidents this is pathetic yes. a culture built in the fabric of mahapurush shankar dev which we are proud of and we are having the largest incidents of crime against women and this is pathetic and embarrassing for the entire community and because of this reason recently uh, release sdg in, in, in uh, the substantial development goal released by niti ayog assam in the bottom of the list and one of the main reason is the crime against women right. so this is the most uh, unfortunate story so what vabna has done yeah she had the guts yes. to take it on absolutely i know vabna well actually uh, i i've not met her for a long time she was working with me uh, she okay. was uh, she's a brilliant student passed up from uh, ramses college and mm -hmm. she was doing uh, post graduate in social science in development studies in delhi university and she came to me once and she says she wants to work with for northeast festival mm -hmm. as she has been to northeast festival delhi regularly so uh, i think worked with me for two months of time where i knew her and after a northeast festival she went back to delhi and started studying the last many days i have not seen her seen her for long time and yesterday when i saw the incident and i i was extremely annoyed and i took it up with assam police and yeah. we i mean constantly following up and i must tell you assam police has taken some action and the person is behind bar and some actions are being initiated as per the rules of the law but the bigger issue is that not that incident alone right this is kind of incidents happening regularly in assam and it has to stop Yes. and how it has to stop first name and shame the person the person whatever his name is ras kumar should be name and shame and this must be an issue across assam so much of awareness is needed and anybody trying to touch my sister my daughter has to fear has to fear this kind of retaliation and this is the first thing i want to i want that the concise public conscience should be risen to such a, such a level that people talk about it the issue why we should protect and, and my parents should teach their children yeah. their son that when they go out don't misbehave with a with a woman learn to respect a woman that is important secondly the trollers i have seen in bhavna's status lot of people are yes. trolling few people are trolling these are also criminal minded people right. why she spoke in english bhavna <coughs> at that moment of time she was in rage she has just faced a horrific incident and she she spoke she has been brought up in delhi and uh, you know she spoke in english and aspi is mixed and some people are talking why she is talking in english 
See, may not talk English as much like me because, but the incidence is much bigger issue. But she is about communicating. She is yes. communicating the incidence that she has communicated well. And secondly, publicity. This girl <coughs> Bhavna is a graduate, mm. uh, is a postgraduate, so appearing for EPSC you know, the exam. She doesn't need publicity. She no. is not an actress. She is not an activist. She is doing it for the sake of the young people and the fellow Britons. So I think this thought of that we are talking in English, thought talking about getting publicity speaks about a very negative mentality of many of our people that need to change. And that this is a very good discussion. I think this awareness is important, not that typical incident. Similar incidents should be taken up and people should fear to do this kind of incidents again. So police has to pay a very strong law rule in terms of role in terms of giving them maximum punishment at this moment of time and right. as a social civil society media we must create a substantial awareness that these incidents are not happening regularly absolutely. it shouldn't happen ever in Assam. absolutely uh, uh Kanuji, i'll again come back to you and we will talk more about the legal uh, and the policing thing uh, we will uh, really would want to uh, hear from you what exactly uh, are what are the missing links here but uh, very importantly like bhavna has been sharing this thing with me uh, uh, Kanuji, jo aapne abhi, uh, you mentioned ki, you know instead of focusing on what has happened people are discussing about why is she speaking in english why is she doing this what was she doing there at that particular point of time matlab aisa lagta hai ki jo ladki ke saath hua usse zyada important kya wo kis bhasha mein baat kar rahi hai wo important hai ki jo hadsa hua unke saath uske bare mein hame dekhna chahiye uske bare mein hame baat karna chahiye so why why is our mindset like this i mean why are we trying to trivialize what she has gone through and bhavna is just another person unfortunately had to go through what had happened to her there are so many such incidents which are happening every day uh, mitram fukan a uh, very uh, prominent eminent writer from assam and a commentator as well uh, Mitra ji would want to hear from you. You've ha heard Bhavna. You already know what has happened to her. You've heard uh, Shyam Kanu Mohanto. Mr. Mohanto has raised several very important points there. How would you like to Issues. react yeah. to all of this? Yeah, first of all, my thoughts on, uh, yeah, on, on seeing this was complete admiration for Bhavna, Bhavna, the way she reacted and the way she has, you know, this video is being circulated. It's yeah. wonderful. It's really wonderful. Congratulations, Bhavna. Your moral and physical strength have me really admiring you. Uh, and I know that it was a horrible, horrible incident. And on, in spite of that trauma, you have been able to do this. Every girl I know, every woman, my generation, your generation, in between grandmothers, we have faced this kind of thing. The big, the big change, which I think is uh, perhaps a change for the better in only in one way, is that, you know, that shame, that shame, societal shame, we were told to chup thak, ebu kobo na lage, bahirat bodnam hobo. So that, that sense of shame, girls are coming out and saying, no, we are the victim. It is not acceptable. This is not something that should be done. So uh, this, this is a huge change that I am seeing. And I hope it, will, it can be carried forward so that our children, our daughters, the, the, the women. And it's not just a question of age. Age is, uh, and uh, you know, the, the thing that was mentioned about clothes, what mm. I saw was that she was extremely decently dressed. Absolutely. There was no provocation whatsoever. Right. Anything that could be construed yes. as provocation from a sick mind was mm. not there. And also, also the fact that it was in broad daylight mm. in, in a, a street lined with uh, residencies and all. Right. But 
the thing is the other sad thing that i have seen in our society and which people i was talking to girls about this and they said nobody comes forward hmm. i don't know what bhavna's uh, experience was later yeah. but nobody yes there are lots of bystanders who will egg you on and who will just look and so on yeah. but nobody comes forward to help this is a sign a symptom of something really really crazy in our really bad in our society and we like to say that ohom ohom agote ene kwa nasile ajikali hoy say that's not true because it's just that shame that shaming naming and shaming uh, uh, was something so integral to us the bodnam hole bia no hobo there will be uh, all all of that was there so it was hushed up and right. girls were not allowed to go out yes. and now that girls are moving out mm. these are coming out and girls are of course taking uh, taking legal recourse they are going to the police which uh, is absolutely the done thing yes but the other thing i feel is yeah. that uh, we of course teach our children our girls to stand up to fight to give them strength training to give them martial arts training mm. but we must also teach our boys that this is not acceptable how yes. can you do such a thing this is not acceptable and there will be consequences if you do this there will be societal shame there will be you will not be able to show your face in society and there will be legal legal uh, uh, paths which right. will be taken against you this cannot be done so today it is groping tomorrow as she had said that it could be nirbhaya nirbhaya right. so let us let us kind of nip this thing at this point mm. and the shame and the trauma that comes to a woman at this uh, with with something like this i think uh, perhaps by we should all circulate what Absolutely. what is being done and i think this the fact that there's a tv program on this which i don't think could have happened uh, at least 20 years ago or 25 years True. ago True. um so the these things must be um sent all around that this right. is not acceptable behavior there will yes. be consequences yeah. so we'll come so back don't to you. don't do that and yes. once more i would of course we will talk again yes uh we'll come back to you would want to hear so, more from you um, because but, you but uh, uh, yeah. i would like to say uh, to to wind up i would like to say that that this this is i think uh, in spite of all the uh, all the trauma that she has gone through it is a positive sign that we are today talking of talking it. about it yes and like mr mohanto has also uh, very strongly put across that we need to name and shame uh, the uh, person involved in any indecent activity and that uh, we really need to create a lot of awareness about such incidents i will come back to both mr mohanto and uh, mitra fukun but uh, now if uh, we can get connected to parth or he is a student uh he is a graduation finally a graduation student uh from b barua college here in guwahati uh parth would want to really hear from you you know what is the boy thinking you know it is very important for us to understand how boys think why such incidents take place and uh for once at least you know nobody can point a finger at how bhavna was dressed like uh, mitra fukun ji mentioned and we've all seen how she was dressed i'm sure uh, all of uh, most of you must have seen that video already uh, she was absolutely properly dressed now if it happens even after you are dressed like that and i really feel and that is the reason why i wanted partho on the show today he is a young student what actually happens what goes through the uh, minds of uh, men uh, boys rather uh, uh, partho can you throw some some light on that uh, uh, first of all i strongly condemn what has happened yes. uh, with her and i really appreciate uh, how she came up to fight against this True. and coming uh, coming to the question like how boys or how the male community thinks looking at the dress or the dress code how mm -hmm. we judge actually the question is the we need to change the narrative of the question it's not the uh, boys mentality versus girls dress mm. it's it's against us versus the regressive fraction of the society like the way we are living today mm. like many like whenever we go outside like 
the uh, dress code of a girl or something like that the bo the main narrative of the question comes that the boys mentality versus girls dress code actually the narrative of the question is very wrong hmm. today we are fighting it, the battle is not between us the boys and the girls or something like that the battle is against the regressive fraction of the society and uh, mainly uh, to to talk about the present context in social media like there are many posts uh, such like that the uncles come and post in girls uh, uh, comment box beti tumhare kapde chote nahi hai in ladkon ke soch chote hai so and mm. the and that very uncle will go slide into that girls dm and just ask her pics and uh, whatsapp numbers so there are many such cases and right. there are also cases where like means uh, a male is wrongly uh, wrongly alleged against such cases and they are put in Uh, behind bars bars so the question is not like a boys mentality versus a girls dress code we need to fight against the regressive fraction of the society and yes. uh, the uh, the question is concern about how bhavna was dressed the thing is whether she was dressed uh, properly or improperly we are not to judge anyone absolutely we can't judge anyone in that in that particular moment right so the thing is like uh, we need to come up up from this like whenever the history of this country like not only in context of assam whether it's in delhi whether it's in haryana many part of india if a rape happens or a molestation happens what is the real outcome it just boosts up the income of candle sellers and nothing more than that actually the concept of justice after rape is just a myth justice delayed is justice denied yes and coming to the uh, hello yeah parthop carry on we can yeah. hear you yes uh, and uh, coincidentally when the call came up from uh, for this discussion yeah. i myself was fighting with such case okay one of my personal uh, uh, this is a personal story of myself like one of my friend pic was going viral all over the internet uh, internet and i was fighting against that when the, the call came for, for this discussion and uh, there i could draw the line right my friend belongs from a rural area mm -hmm. and today how bhavna came up from uh, came up for this that girl doesn't have girl, so much girls because exactly. society will be judging her yes. so there are a lot many uh, things which comes in uh, in a mind of a victim that uh, what will society think about her like uh, what other people will think about her yes. these are the very wrong concept of the today's society so i would just like to conclude my statement with this that uh, first of all we need to understand the grassroots level of this problem like uh, to after after happening the incident we can't create a discussion like this like sitting in a panel or going to the court those all are just a outcome and nothing comes out of that yeah we just need to understand what is that and that's education just educating the youth in a correct direction and the conceptualization of our history is the main thing to overcome this and and after happening and after uh, after like uh, happening of such incidents like go moving to the court or just uh, creating a panel is it will not bring anything to us other than like just disturbing the victim and the society so if we need to overcome this we are we need to get our education in the right direction youth in the right direction and the culture the culture which we have adopted the main point here is the culture the culture needs to change with time and that's the beauty of time that it has to be changed we can't be like orthodox in a, like what had happened in past and uh, what is happening right now though we have adopted lot mean uh, lot many modern uh, modernization items like modernity like we have discovered bullet train but our ideas and our thoughts are not uh, doesn't goes in a speed of bullet train first we before building a bullet train our mind our thoughts has to be trained in that direction right. so my point is that whether today it's bhavna tomorrow it it might be my sister or anyone else so if yes. we need to stop this then we have to first get our education in a right path we need to just throw away that culture which uh, and the mainly the main point here is the patriarchy the domination of the patriarchy and yeah. when i talk about the patriarchy versus feminism the concept is not like that uh, male versus woman the concept the concept is in broad sense the both patriarch the dominance of a male in a community is just leading to such cases so if we need to evolve from this then we need to just throw away such outcomes or the circumstances uh, the causes which leads to such circumstances right yeah. and uh, most importantly in today's society औरतें ही औरतों का ज़्यादा दुश्मन बनते हैं एंड आई आई हैव गॉट एग्जाम्पल फॉर दैट 
सो वी कांट जस्ट क्वेश्चन दिस दैट इट्स वेदर इट्स अ बॉयज मेंटेलिटी और अ गर्ल्स ड्रेस इज शॉर्ट नो दैट्स दैट्स द रॉन्ग नेरेटिव ऑफ द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज द बैटल बिटवीन अस भावना एंड मी टूगेदर फाइटिंग अगेंस्ट द फाइटिंग अगेंस्ट द सोसाइटीज रेग्रेसिव मॉडल्स राइट थैंक यू Parth, we'll come back to you. But uh, can we get connected with Sukanya? I have another uh, student. Uh, we are, all right. We will just uh, try and establish our connection with Sukanya, and would wo really appreciate if we can uh, get connected with her, and would really want to hear from her. But uh, in the meanwhile, let me just uh, go across to Bhavna to you one more time. Uh, Mitra ji, she had. you know she wanted to hear like post the incident yes we saw people trolling you and everything else so and uh, sham kanu ji really took it up very strongly he is one of the leading entrepreneurs of the state he uh, took it up very strongly and action has been taken but you know uh, one would want to hear from you like now few hours have passed after that particular incident what has been the reaction of uh, the society towards you your friends your family and relatives that is one and the other thing uh, you somewhere really got lucky like partho also mentioned that uh, somebody he knows who is from a rural background they are actually fighting struggling the girl cannot even uh, come forward she cannot even come and uh declare that okay this is what has happened to me but maybe somewhere your education outside of assam that gave you some courage you know maybe your upbringing all of these things and also maybe it the incident took place in guwahati and you were lucky enough to uh you know get the patronage of someone like shamkanu mohanto and uh, we are all talking about it right now but what about those other cases so bhavna yeah firstly i would like to reiterate the fact that it's not us who should be scared it's not the women the victim who should be scared but it's the culprit who should be scared and then again as everyone is saying he should be named and shamed so that no other person dares to do the same action again right and the next thing i would like to say that you know it's a matter of irony that i have just completed my one year of research i have just submitted my thesis on mm -hmm. the same topic of okay that's very how, interesting how you know the society yeah. keeps further pushing, pushing this gender binaries and you know mm. uh, my my research was on women in conflict zone and for that yeah. matter i have read uh, mitra ma'am extensively mm -hmm. and then uh, you know all those theoretical connotations yeah. which i went through while i was doing the research that you know a woman is further victimized in a victim situation or trivialized her struggles yeah. are trivialized uh, i would request uh, uh, my uh, team to get uh, mitra fukun on the screen please Yeah, yeah so her issues are you know further trivialized and how the concept of strength is you know associated with masculinity and the concept of weakness is associated with being a woman why does a woman always have to be weak i was not weak when i did that so it's yeah. not quintessential of a woman to be weak yes. we can be strong as well we can take up actions as well and we can do all those things which a man can do and i would also like to say that you know security safety mm -hmm. these are something which was supposed to be given naturally given to a woman yeah. irrespective yeah. of her gender the way it's naturally given to a man we should not be sitting here in a talk show discussing how we should reclaim the space and how we should claim our security the men do not have naturally to claim the security it's given by the constitution by the law by the nature so why do we have to keep claiming our rights that's my question uh now uh, can we uh, connect with sham kanu mohanto or uh, is yes uh, mr mohanto you uh, i hope you've been able to hear what bhavna just said that why do we need to you know all these uh, why do we need to stake a claim for something like security and safety it should it's a natural thing it's a given yeah quintessential that is a fact that why women will be always just yes and and 
and uh, we, it's a duty of a society. That's why I'm talking about parents. The right. role of parents is maximum. Yeah. We must, uh, uh, father and mother both must teach their children, the son. When you go out, don't misbehave. So this is the job of a parent or a young boy. He must understand that this is that this kind of incidence is a blot on our character of a male. So this is uh, something, but at the same time, yes, although we speak like this, there are a lot of people with criminal mind moving around. We see all over the country, especially in Guwahati city, a lot of these kind of people. So it's an issue to be handled. First thing, who can handle this? First thing, name and shame that we are talking about, giving maximum punishment. So people should fear. One is that fear must be in the minds. There's a lot of uneducated people or some educated one with criminal mentality who does this kind of thing. <coughs> we need to. We need to put a stop into it and Bhavna has done the right thing. They must be hit. What Bhavna, uh, I must uh, congratulate her. Yes. She knows ma ma mixed martial arts and this help. While, 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 while that aggressor, controlling the aggressor, it help. I first urge all our people, uh, young people, young girls, if they can learn Mixed martial arts is not bad. I am teaching my girl mixed martial arts. It's not because of hitting others, for self-protection as a sport. So this is something is we have to, we, have, we must do. We must learn to be physically fit. And if somebody is coming for aggression, we must hit them back. And secondly, the police has to show a specific yeah. uh, policy. My main, I will ask the DCP and City Commission of Police, especially the problems are more in Guwahati. We must make a provision to protect our, our children. Yes. We must do a, enact laws, enact provisions, so that a person doing this kind of criminal activities doesn't go scot-free. There must be a punishment. And I tell you, although it's easy to say the society is responsible, but the real issue is that a lot of criminal minded people are moving around. This is a dangerous place to move out in nine. But it is a job to stop it. This is a job to make a culture amongst our people uh, to know to respect a woman. If you're a woman, if you can respect a woman, you're not going to do the same, this kind of activities. True. It's a long process, but what Vavna has done, that the collective conscience, I'm seeing a lot of girls have told that yes, I also face similar incidents. Now people will come out. Right. People will come out. This has to be a movement. The movement yes. is that if somebody is doing it, come, come out and speak about it. And we must respect the girl speaking out. Give her the, give her the confidence and then name and shame the person and hit them back. It is important to hit them back. They do not, you know, dare to do it again. So what I'm trying to say, Bhavna incident can be a, a turnaround and an event which can encourage many young people, young girls to come forward reports such incidents, otherwise these incidents are kept hidden within one person goes to a lot of mental harassment right. and and now when they come out then yes. then this issue goes out is debated and a fear will come to the criminal that I should not do this kind of activity. It's a tough job but this can be a turnaround activities. I, I, I have a big role for the medium and the political you know the social influencers to highlight this issue. I'm going to write in my page, I have a popular Facebook page. Yes. The similar in uh, Mitra Baido and all the important yeah. writers to highlight it regularly, this Absolutely. issues. We so have that this collective awareness, the conscience can be created. Thank Absolutely. You. Absolutely. Thank you. Mr. Mohanto, you are very right. We have to... Uh, I, I have to leave you right now. I have to leave one time. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for your time. But I really had a lot of other questions for you, Mr. Mohanto. But we, like you said, we will try and build this entire thing into a proper movement so that the such incidents, at least in Gohanti and Assam, stops here with Bhavna. But Mr. Mohanto, we will continue uh, uh, um, to connect with you on this and several other issues. And thank you one more time for joining me today. Uh, Bhavna, you wanted to uh, share something. After Bhavna, we will go to uh, Mitra Fukan. I think she also wants to uh, share some comments. Bhavna, to you. Yeah, you know, uh, the way uh, the panelists have been saying yes. that, I had the access to the resources through which I could prepare myself. Do I, I was unarmed, but I was morally or maybe physically 
you know equipped enough to fight back right. but not all women have access Absolutely. to the same, same resources yes. the way you said the people in the rural setups right they are scared to come out and mm. fight for causes like that that or this because of the same fact that the society which is suppo supposed to support them yeah. support the victim are shaming them right Yes, uh, in fact, um, in fact, that is exactly what I had actually wanted to uh, ask Mr. Mohanto. What do we do about uh, similar incidents uh, happening in our uh, villages, in our rural areas? So that is something we will definitely uh, try and touch upon the next time we talk about all of these things. But now I would like to go across to Mitra Fukan. I think she wanted to make a comment. And also, uh, Mitraba would want to hear from you about the pa yes, parenting uh, part of it. You know, you were mentioning that you are you are a mother. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, no, I just wanted to give an intervention about uh, what Mr. Mohanta had said that this is happening a lot in in the cities in Guwahati. I would like to say no. I think it is happening a lot in the villages also, in the yes. small towns also. But this sense of shame is preventing girls. Misplaced shame is uh, and societal, you know, uh, pointing of fingers and all. We we point fingers at the victim. So this is preventing them from come out from coming out. I do not in any way believe that this is happening more in urban regions. This is happening within the home also. I know of many cases where girls, many, many things are happening within the home among people uh, in extended families. So this is a much larger social problem than what is there, what we see in the streets. And uh, 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 and and the thing is that you know how can we? Of course, education is there and teaching yes. our children, boys as well as girls. Girls, be strong. Don't stand for this. And also, boys, it is not acceptable. Right. And also, the main thing now at this point, after this thing has happened, is what happens now. What happens now yes. from the legal point of view, from the police point of view, from the social point of view. I think the social, uh, as Bhavna has said, you know, this trolling where the mm. language has become much more important right. than uh, than actually what happened. Yes. You know, it's a it's a question of trying to deflect the whole issue, the just deflect it so that now we are talking of something else. Right. If it had been, uh, for instance, I don't know. I mean, give, going by the name. Uh, but, uh, it's not from a minority community, but I know for sure if the boy had been from another community, then the discourse would have gone into that community into a different and this absolutely. would have been completely ignored. These are the very harsh facts in our society. Women suffering is last in the list. It does not really matter. And unless somebody like Bhavna comes forward, I am extremely glad. But she, she has also pointed out that yes, she's empowered in many ways uh, by education, by I think physical strength also. And uh, so yes, but she is an example. She is definitely ex an example that this can be done. Right. And the fact that it is documented and that we are all sharing it, that we are expressing a huge anger, this is right. something that will bring social change, legal Absolutely. change and so on is a different matter, very important. But I think the grassroots thing is social change. This is not acceptable. Yeah. How that social change must come, whether in our homes, on our streets, in our institutions, in so many institutions also, these things are happening yes. freely because of the, I know that there are girls in colleges who are, uh, there's sexual harassment yes. and they are told by their parents, don't speak up, Absolutely. don't speak Absolutely, so up. that is where the problem so lies. So that right? must change, Absolutely. I know it's yes. not easy at all Yes. So because there will be consequences but uh, it is not easy I know and it is easy for me to say perhaps it's uh, I mean but I I, I know that uh, uh, sitting in a studio and maybe talking about this right. may not in our comfort actually zone. bring yeah, change but, but in a way it will bring a huge change because we are airing this out and we are talking about it right. till some years ago we were not even talking about it unless we face the problem 
we cannot find a cure for it. Absolutely. That's and it. like you mentioned, uh, uh, it's like the problem lies in the fact that we always tell uh, our girls, ki baat mat karo, kothana, etu kotha, like you said, ki we should not be talking about all of these things. Manu hai, bea pabo, bodnam hobo, swali gorakir, ami hodai, teneke amar jiori bilakok dangor koru. Very unfortunate, in fact. Uh, uh, I would like to just uh, go across to Dr. Akakhi Tora uh, on her comments, her thoughts on this particular uh, issue and what she thinks about the Asmi society and society at large. I have a lot of people who are in the world. I Etiao Mohila Karne Hurokito Hoitokanai. Din Duporte at a Lorai Egorki Swali Enukake Bebohar Koribule Hahok Korapra Etue Praman Hoise J Guahati Etia Jikunut Horn or Jikunu Boyohor Swali or Mohila Karne Hurokito Nohoi. Itimote Chin Tona Ba Neke Abili Kuskari Bulejaute. Um Bebuhar Kora Evla Kotona Ajir Bulli Nohoi to Bosor Bosor Dori and Kabla Kotna Sulietake Aru Moi Babuna Kashapo uh Jigoraki Swalie Hahok Kurile Lora Janok uh Dori Pelai Rokai Pelai Teon Nije Bioktigoto Habe Hahok the Kurile he Hahok Moi Selu Janaiso. Are we atakotama mon kurisu j जी हो कोले उस और मानव बिल्ला के तमसा तो साया से और था त्यागलो के इतिमध्य लोराजनों को ढोरी पुलिस और गोटाई दिया ना है गोटी के जोन खाधरों और जी हो कोल ऑन लुकर त्यागलो को कुनु ढोरन और महिला और खनमान खंपर के बा इनका ढोरन और देखो मने त्यागलो को और कुनु ढोरन और मात ना माती त्यागलो के आरु टिटियों टे ये तक कोठा लोरा जोन तो एक बार कॉम्बो इखिया लोरा माग देव तक निश्चय है ऐसे को ठीक है इनुका ढोरन और मेंटेलिटी लोरा बिल्ला के पीसों लेको बिल्ला डांगोर डांगोर एक क्रिमिनल्स है होय तो ही डांगोर होले रेपिस्ट हो बो ड्रग्स और की बात कोरी बो बा घर और भीतर ओटे कार्बा खोई तो ये कोरी बो ऐनु का ढोना बेबहार कोरी बो गोटी के डांगोर कोठा होइ से ऐटा नोटुल अंडुलनो डॉर्कर होइ से जोट मानु है मोन बिला कोर पड़ा ये ये उखिया भाब बिला के लेटरा भाब बिला जटे दूर कर बो पड़े आरु ऐ तक कोठा आमार ओखम पुलिस जाग बिरांगोना डॉक्यूमेंट्री करने वालों पर ये सारा लिखानो आही गोए से जो ये तो ये तो डांगोर फोर्स बुली को आ है भारत और भीतर टे महिला हो कलों खुरखार करने कोटे के मौय ओनूट करो हम पुलिस और जाते प्रोटीटू गोलेट प्रोटीटू गोलेटे जाते बिरांगोना और जी कुने स्ट्रोल स्ट्रोलिंग दिए जाते बि� जी कौन ढोरना गोली जाते एक और आखिर महिला जी कौन खमाए थे जी कौन खमाए थे त्यों मुक्त भावे सलाफुरा कर बा पड़े आरो मौर कमेंट्स नहीं दियो कौन बाय ट्रॉलर्स किस्मन आसे फेसबुक बा बेलेक बिलकोट त्यों लोगों एको काम ना है कौनु सिंटा ना है कौनु ढोरना हिक्का ना है की पिनिसे की नी पिनिसे ए ब्लैक और मौय भाबुजे मोंटोबो दिया उसीट ना होए कारण किस्माने ओकमन हेरी पा बोलो ही प्रोमिनेंस पा बोले और एकदम किबली कौर ए कुनु ढोरना और मने मेंटली मने अवेयर ना होए बाग किस्माने इन्हें कोई थके कि तो बहुत गुड तो पुन्ना कोठा ना होए स्वालिगर के की पिनिसे की नी पिनिसे कि तो डॉर्कारी कोठा ना होए स्वालिगर के जी नी पिन स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन है स्वाली गोरा के गोरा की स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन है बा जी कुनो मानो है जी कुनो जेनु का एक आपूर्ति पिनो खेतु डांगोर को था ना है डांगोर को था वैसे आमर कैने के ढोरने आमे नीजो के खंसालन कोरी सो कोई के मौन बिसारो जो उधर भविष्य तेज आते हैं नुका घटना न हो और भावना मौन पुनर्बारे जी गोरा के स्वाली तो अपुर्ति लुकाए रखा तो को डांगों को ठाना होता है। ताई होते गुसी जब वो पढ़ ले हैं तो इन उटाई जी तो हाँ कर पड़े सो दिले। हाँ कर मैं सेलूज जोना है सो। आरु के उस अपने साइटों का मानो किन्हें मैं गोरी होना दी सो। 
কারণ কালে পরখলে তেওন লোকৰ সোৱালি তেওন লোকৰ ভন্তি কাৰবা এনেকা হলে তেওন লোকে এনেকে চাই থাকিব ঠিকে কৈছে ঠিক 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 সমাজ ঠিক কৈছে কন্যা ডক্টৰ যদি আমি কানেক্ট কৰিব পাৰিছো তেখেতে সুকন্যা গৰাকি ছাত্ৰী আৰু তেওন আমাক ঢকুয়া খানাৰ পৰা কানেক্ট কৰিব আমি চেষ্টা কৰিছো সুকন্যা আমাৰ স্ক্ৰিনত সুকন্যা তুমিও এগৰাকি ছাত্ৰী তুমি বৰ্তমান ঢকুয়া খানাত আছা তুমি যেতিয়া ভাবনাৰ এই ঘটনাটোৰ বিষয়ে হুনিলা তোমাৰ মনৰ ভাবটো কেনেকো আছিল তুমি আজি কি ক'ব বিচাৰিবা আমাক সুকন্যা তুমি হুনা পাইছানে সুকন্যা তুমি তোমাক আনমিউট কৰা সুকন্যা আমি হুনা পোৱা নাই তোমাক তোমাক হুনা পোৱা নাই নাই সুকন্যা তোমার অডিওটো আমি পোৱা নাই ঠিক আছে আমি আকৌ এবার পুনৰবার চেষ্টা কৰিম সুকন্যাৰ লগত ইণ্টাৰেক্ট কৰাৰ কাৰণে ভাবনা আই উড লাইক টু গিভ ইউ দ্য লাষ্ট ৱৰ্ড so i would like to thank all the people of assam and also people who have reached out to me from across india all the women who have come out and shared their stories that i am not the only one similar yeah. stories have happened to them but most of them kept quiet and then they have taken this as an inspiration and they've said that and assured that the next time anything like this happens to them they won't keep quiet they'll fight back for their cause and they'll make their action count and then along with that i'll also like to thank mr shamganu mohanta uh, his you know voice has helped me uh, in you know getting yes. momentum to this cause and also i'd like to thank assam police i'm really hopeful that assam police would carry forward uh, this uh, whole issue uh, lawfully the right. way it has been doing yes. and also i have utter faith in the legal system and the judicial system because of which many of the people were questioning if such incident had happened the girl had to you know fight back if she could ditch him into the drain she could also have the power to slap him right. or hit him i would not do that i do not want to be of the same category that that person belong to i believe in the legal system of this uh, uh, country state and the country I, yes. yeah i uh, believe in the constitution of the country right. that's why i did not touch the person i did not sabotage the modesty of that person the way he did to me and i have complete faith in the system the system would carry it forward yes absolutely absolutely and we each one of us we really trust uh, our legal system we have a lot of trust and faith uh, on our uh, entire team of uh, police people and of course they are doing a great job uh, but expectations will always remain from our legal system and uh, our team of police people there and of course a lot for each one of us uh, from this particular society we each one of us we have a huge responsibility and a lot to do still and thanking all my panelists one more time sham kanu mohanto mitra fukan uh, bhavna kashyap and everybody is praised her for her courage uh, really a very gutsy girl there and i just hope that many more girls i firstly hope that no one else has to go through what bhavna had to go through but in case any such unfortunate incident takes place i hope that the girl will gather some courage uh, to speak up and we as the media are always there to take up each of your cause we will keep highlighting we will keep fighting till we find the solution i also thank partho deka uh, the student and our young voice there uh, sukanya dotto unfortunately we can uh, could not uh, hear her voice today but hopefully next time we will get her on any of our other shows and dr akahitora thank you all for joining the uh, joining today uh, with me for this very important discussion and thank you viewers for being there thank you goodbye take care till we meet again bye